The Minister of State, Federal Capital Territory, Ramatu Tijani, has flagged off the Cash for Trash Recycling Hub in Abuja. Well, this is in line with recent European Union proposals aimed at boosting recycling targets, creating jobs in the green industries and tackling food waste in order to transform the current linear economy into a secular economy as well as promoting sustainable growth. Correspondent Habida Lawa reports. Every year, more than 11 billion tons of waste are produced worldwide, according to the United Nations Environment Programme. They are a byproduct of our daily lives and every sector of the world's economies. But the trash we discard pollutes our land, clogs our waterways, depletes our natural resources and contaminates the very air we breathe. The government says there is need to protect Nigeria's ecosystem and reduce the carbon emissions that come from the creation, distribution and disposal of waste. According to the proposal, recyclable waste would be banned from landfills by 2025. This would encourage and improve resource productivity by focusing on materials that promise the most economical and environmental benefit. It is why this recycling op was set up. Trash to wealth will also empower our youth, provided you have the energy to move across the street to please do something. The errors of sitting down on a light train is gone, but Federal Capital Territory Administration partnering with all these bodies and more to ensure that you can pick some litter and get some money. And at the same time, clean the environment. And at the same time, at this rainy season, ensure that we don't have litters blocking our gutters. In our recycling homes, which we have um, like 14 around Abuja now, um, but we're just doing the official kickoff of the Nyanyad branch, you bring any kilogram of any kind of recyclable waste, plastic, paper, carton, um, batteries, whatever, and they'll give you 29, they used to open an account for you, and that money will be going into your account, 29 per kilogram for any kind of recyclable waste that, we, that you bring, that will not end up in the gutters or in the, in the waterways and things like that. Some of the beneficiaries say they had been into the waste for cash business before, but in an informal setting. We used to bring leathers, plastic, rubbers, when you bring it, they will scale it and give you money. I'll do it, but they have never start. We have never go far. But I hope that we will go far and we will benefit it very well. You can do it. It's, uh, a lazy woman, when you are looking for something to fit your family, you, you have to go and do whatever they ask you to do. But I cannot care because I want to help my family so that we will have something to eat with my family. Zero waste is an ambitious goal, but minimizing waste is essential to preserving the natural resources and reducing waste-associated carbon emissions. This will ensure economies and societies around the world thrive for generations to come. The whole action of throwing away waste, whether solid or any type of waste, is a complete man-made action. With initiatives such as this, it is believed that people will now pay more attention to how they discard waste. Habib Alawal, TVC News, Abuja.